An Oracle database is a collection of data treated as a unit. The purpose of a database is to store and retrieve related information. A database server is the key to solving the problems of information management. In this tutorial, we'll show you the primary components of a database. Oracle Server consists of disk, and memory. We'll discuss in detail in the next slides. As we said two main components of an Oracle Server is an instance, SGAPGA, and database disk. Every Oracle instance has its own processes, an open one database. When client establish a connection to an Oracle server, user process will request SQL, forms, reports, etc. from Oracle server, where server process serve user process request. Oracle database consists of data files, control files, and redo log files. These three files are physically exist in Oracle home directory. Simply. SGA system global area, are called on startup, or to initiate a request for processing. PGA program global area, for processing a request. SGA mainly consist of shared pool, database buffer cache, and redo log buffer. Additionally large and Java pool. System global area size is dynamic and can be set during the installation, and changed later on. Shared pool used to store recently executed SQL statements and used data definitions. In flow of execution, shared pool looks for a cached plan to execute an SQL statement, or PLSQL blocks. We can change the size by the alter command shown in the bottom of the screen. In a library cache, it has table created and maintained by an Oracle user, and contain user business data. In a data dictionary cache, it has table created and maintained by an Oracle server, and contain information about database. Database buffer cache, store retrieved information from the data files. You can change the cache size using the alter command for database buffer, keep pool, and recycle pool. Redo log buffer, used to recover changes, by storing entries. Large pool is in system global area. Used for session memory. Input-output processes, R man operations, and parallel executions. Java pool, used to serve Java commands. PGA, program global area, used to process requests, it has reserved memory for each user connected. When done the process must be terminated to avoid any deadlock on a database. User process, is when requesting a connection. Server process, when a session is established. Background process, when instance is started and ready for processing requests. Both user and server processes are in system global area, where background is on program global area. Here are the mandatory background processes, let's discuss them in details. Database writer, updates the CKPT, checkpoints in the redo log file whenever the database writer, writes on a data file. Log writer, writes what's on redo log buffer cache, into the redo log file. Log writer, writes at commit, when one third of redo log buffer cache is full, and before database writer writes any dirty buffer on data file. SMON, system monitor, is responsible for instance recovery in a redo log file, when database startup is in the mount stage. SMON looks to find CKPT checkpoints, and tell the database writer to roll forward the changes on the data files. PMON, Process Monitor, is responsible to clean up after failed rollback, releasing locks and other resources. CKPT, Checkpoints, it's a location in a redo log file, it has entries from where to start recovery, and its information is stored in a control file. Archiver, it's an optional background process, when enabled will archive online redo log files. Database consists of one or more table spaces. Table space consists of one or more data files. Data file consists of one or more segments. Segment consists of one or more extents. Extent consists of one or more data blocks. Oracle data blocks is one or more OS blocks. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and share. See you in the next lecture.